It's a big day for Fox 17. We're launching a brand new initiative called a path forward. Our promise is to help build bridges for a safer West Michigan. Youth crime and violence has been on the rise in West Michigan, and recently we've had four different incidents of kids bringing guns to Grand Rapids public schools. Our Jamie Sherrod sat down with a man who made that same mistake when he was a kid and shares some insight on why this may be happening now and what can be done to change it. Jamie. Yeah, Josh and Janice, oftentimes we don't know what goes through a kid's mind when they decide to do something as dangerous as bringing a gun to school. But tonight, D. Jones shared his story of when he made that mistake at 15 years old and how he overcame it. Yeah, I definitely grew up low income, Social Security, SSI, so I really come from like poor poverty and uh, it was just it was just honestly terrible. D Jones didn't choose the cards he was dealt. He moved to Grand Rapids from Chicago when he was just six years old and remembers his childhood as fun but challenging. Lack of opportunity, lack of resources, lack of just um, just opportunities for youth. And so it wasn't good. Resources like community centers, youth based programs and a chance to see what was beyond his neighborhood plagued with poverty. His circumstances leading him to make poor decisions. I had a cousin who had a gun and uh, he ended up just, you know, having to bring it into my house. D took that loaded gun and brought it to East Kentwood High School in April of 2010. I can recall just letting people know I had the gun, which is very stupid. I wasn't trying to shoot or kill nobody. He didn't have bad intentions, but was doing what he thought was cool what he was exposed to growing up. An anonymous tip to silent observer changed Dee's life. I spent 10 months of my life, almost a year, just locked up and just, just you know, just like, dang, like my freedom is gone. He served time in a juvenile detention center and a residential care program for boys. It was a wake up call for the then 16 year old. I remember walking through the juvenile detention hallways and just like, Literally, this is exactly what I said to myself. I said, DeAndre, this is not you. When you get out, you're going to play basketball. You're going to graduate. And that's exactly what I did. Today marks 10 years since D graduated from high school. And since then, he's taken those cards and changed the game. Becoming a well-known community activist, a board member of the West Grand Neighborhood Organization, and founder and CEO of Jump Ahead, giving kids the opportunities he didn't have, and working to improve the community overall through financial workshops, community cleanups, job trainings, and esports gaming. Just being able to provide that opportunity, provide the education, mm -hmm. being able to provide a cool outlet for people, especially here in the city. I'm just thankful to to even be able to provide um, just anything for the city that's positive, to be honest, because it's definitely needed. He says what's also needed is investing into communities like the one he grew up in. Y'all expect a community that don't have resources, that don't have funding to be able to, to not have some type of economic problems, to not have some type of violence. You guys aren't pouring into these communities the way that you're pointing into these other communities. You expect these kids to not be violent. But it won't happen without grassroots efforts from city and local officials. D believes the true key to achieving equity is through unity. They need to actually go to the hood, to the underserved communities. They're like they need to really go and engage with these communities. And D Jones hopes that his story will serve as a reminder that you don't have to be a product of your environment. For more information on his nonprofit Jump Ahead, head to this story on our website. Reporting in studio, Jamie Sherrod, Fox 17 News.